Hi, my name is Lindsay Lanares. I serve as Congresswoman Julia Letlow's legislative director. I run point on her appropriations committee work as well as education and workforce initiatives. Uh, I've spent 11 years on Capitol Hill, eight years in the Senate for Mississippi senators and three years with the Congresswoman. My name is Rebecca Howard. Um, I serve as the Education, Labor, and Workforce Development Policy Advisor for Senator Tim Kaine. Um, I've been in his office for a little over a year and a half now. So it's really easy uh, here in D.C. to get in the D.C. bubble. Uh, and we all work on a lot of policy that uh, impacts the nation, but we only get glimpses here and there. So it's really helpful to hear from advocates who work on the ground and can tell us um, they're the boots on the ground and can tell us the ups and downs of programming uh, of policy or funding. Um, Y'all are the ones who are the specific uh, ones who carry out the programming and funding. So you can tell us um, details on how a program is working or isn't working and how Congress can improve it. Meeting with stakeholders is such an important way to get the message out on the issues that you're advocating for. It's especially helpful when you're meeting with your home state senator or home state congressperson, um, because having a constituent voice is really important um, to emphasize the work that needs to be done. And you can share experiences that are happening in your state or district that are, imp that are impacting um, you or people you work with. And so it's really nice to hear those voices and those stories because um, it, you know, we have a lot of great partners in the D.C. area, but hearing from people in the state or the district is, is great because that way you can tie it back to the work you're doing. So meetings, uh, remember, I would say, remember that members and staff juggle multiple meetings uh, and issues at a time. Oftentimes they may have, you know, 15 or 20 minutes to sit down and visit, no more than 30 max. So I would really strongly recommend maximizing the time that you have uh, with your member or staff member. Uh, keep the meetings concise, maybe pick your top three issues that you want to uh, handle and talk about to discuss. Uh, I would recommend not reading off your papers that uh, all your advocacy groups uh, give to you uh, or tell us just like bill numbers, but we rather want to hear about stories that you want to share about how programming is working on the ground or, or state specific data is really relevant and helpful for us to know. I would also say that sometimes remember that um, you may just be meeting with staff, which I, you know, that's great. Uh, the staff members are the ones who really are in the weeds on policy areas and ultimately carry out their members' priorities. So um, sometimes you can get deep in, here's what we would recommend to change on this particular law where, um, uh, where you might not get in the weeds as much with a member. And remember, um, Members and staff are just people. Uh, so don't be nervous, be yourself and uh, be kind. Uh, and just everyone wants to have a good Hill meeting experience on our side and on your side. The way you can have a really effective meeting is what a piece of advice that I have given before is it's sometimes helpful to ask the staffer that you're meeting with, how much do they know about the issue? Because you only have a set amount of time to meet with the staffer because you know, there's so much going on, but it would be really helpful to get an idea of where they stand. And that way, if they say, oh, I know tons about this issue, um, you can maybe just kind of skip some of the intro and get down into the kind of the nitty gritty. But if they do need to hear a little bit more about the work you do, that's a good way to like tee it up. So just so they can, you can get a frame of reference of where they are coming from, um, because they probably know something, but the degree is going to vary across offices. Um, and that way, you, yeah, you can maximize the time you have with them, which I think is really helpful. But I also think another effective strategy is to share like stories and perspectives and statistics, anything that, like I said earlier, you can tie back to the district um, or the state that you're the person you're meeting with, because that way they have like tangible evidence of, oh, this is affecting 
our constituents in this way. Um, so that's always really helpful. Giving nationwide statistics, statistics or stories is great, but if you can tie it back that, that they feel like they have a, a stake. Um, so it's always really helpful. And another effective strategy is to invite them to come see the work that you're doing, um, either the staff or the regional staff or even the member themselves. I think it's really helpful um, to kind of have an open invitation to, to come see them, to see you or see the work that you're doing. So I think the biggest uh, piece of advice is just be yourself. Um, we're all human. We're all here to, to advocate for good causes. So don't be nervous. Uh, just act like you're talking to a friend. Uh, I wouldn't worry about all the bill numbers or specific policy in the weeds positions. Just share stories. Uh, stories are what connect us. And so hearing about... Um, I love to hear stories, especially in the workforce area where we talk about public and private partnership. And so when a educational institution and our um, industry get together and find ways to be creative and training our next workforce, I think that's, uh, we love to hear those type of stories. So just don't be nervous. That's what I would say. I think a big piece of advice for anyone who's new uh, visiting a congressional office is don't be nervous. Um, you know, we, we are not as scary as it may seem on the news that you're watching. Um, I think these are really important issues that you're working on. Um, but also, you know, feel free to like, let them know this is your first time or ask them if they have any questions um, or just, you know, feel free to like initiate a conversation. You don't need to just talk to them the whole time. Feel free to kind of go back and forth with this, the, either the staffer or the member that you're meeting with. Um, but yeah, don't, don't be nervous. Um, it's a great chance to share the work that you're doing. And it's a really fun experience. Being on Capitol Hill is a lot of fun. It's going to likely be very busy. There's going to be people everywhere. So just kind of take it all in um, and just be excited that you're here sharing all the great work you do.